Hey everybody, this is the Cyber Bard, and welcome back to another Walking Dead Wednesday. Today, we are getting started on Episode 3, Long Road Ahead, dealing with the fallout from the previous episode, whereby we pretty much eliminated the dairy farm and uh, any potential food sources for the bandits hiding in those woods. Uh, we are now trying to figure out what to do next. What will Lee and the group do? Will they get attacked by the bandits? Will they evade them altogether? We don't know. We're going to find out here. Get yourself prepared. Set the mood. Put on some headphones. Turn down the lights. Turn up the volume. It's time for episode three, Long Road Ahead. I hope you've been enjoying this series so far. I'm loving I'm loving the game. This and Batman, fantastic. Telltale knocks it out of the park. We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. No one's trying to He immediately forgot that when we contradicted him one time. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Oh, Come God. On. We know this guy's not gonna make it. Kenny! That what was pretty messed up, Kenny. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Yep. So, in other words, nobody is safe now. But then again, nobody was safe before. So really, does it change anything? Not so much, only now we're dealing with bandits and zombies. Lovely. Oh, such is the life in the post-zombie apocalypse. But we will make do. Why? Because Lee and Clem are strong. Strong-willed and intelligent. Nice and quiet, Looks eh? Looks like this is our lucky day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Let's just get inside. Ooh, it really is quiet. <clears throat> What is wrong with Kenny? <clears throat> what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should probably go. We should go. The motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Yeah, well... Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. Let's we didn't do our best. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <laughs> Man, it's so eerily quiet. Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Any way we can fix this, perhaps, Kenny? Rather than just... Blocked by all the fallen concrete. Hey. Yeah? Still sore? I took a bullet to the gut. What do you think? Maybe you should have stayed behind. I'll be alright. Think we'll find anything? Ain't much left in there. You're right. We're lucky we found that station wagon. 
Despite you getting all high and mighty about it. If we'd hit the road like I suggested, we wouldn't be in this situation. You're probably right. I'm coming up. Ladder's right there. Ha ha, very funny. Why don't you just put it back in the slot, Kenny? That would have been very nice, you know. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Uh, what can we do here? There's no safe way through that mess. Nope, clearly not. Will this work? Kenny, come on. Ah, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. All right, we'll find something else. Don't worry. It's all right, Kenny. It's all right. What else can we do here? So we got that. A barrel, eh? That's not going to do it. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Well, you murdered her father. What the hell, Kenny? Well, I guess this is where we got to go. Hopefully this will work. Hmm. Let's tweak that. Your girl still upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? I hope not. Hoping ain't worth a damn. Okay, well, that's much better. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. It was a scary situation for him, Sean dying and all. I'm just worried he'll always think it was his fault. Well... You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Oh, shit! Ah, oh, Kenny... Jesus, are you okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. Now get off here. No! No! Oh, man. No! No! Help me! Oh, Help no. Me! Oh, God. Oh, God. What, the, what the hell is that? A walker? Walkers don't scream, do they? Jesus, I don't think so. It's a girl. We have to help her. How? There's no getting to her. We gotta do something. Ah, uh, too late. She got bitten. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. We don't know we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Kid. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. All right, I'm going to go with Kenny. No, she's already been bitten. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good, let's go. She'll keep me busy. I don't like doing it, but we don't have any choice. She's already dead.
Oh, that's awful, but man. Ugh. I can't imagine Should having to make a choice like that. Out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Yep, let's do Don't this. Forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. And that's good there. More stuff. She's gone. There's not much time now. Okay, let's move it then. Under the counter. I think that's everything. Okay, let's roll. That girl didn't die for nothing then. Up and over. We're still clear. Let's hustle. Kenny, help! Oh crap! Uh, hel a little help, Kenny? Are you kidding me? Seriously, Kenny, that was some some big time hesitation there, man. Back you go, friend. Oh man. Nope. Not gonna happen. Dude, move. What was that? They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Yeah, seriously. Uh, we got some problems here, Kenny. We're going to have a chat about that, my friend. So I guess the bandits have been uh, making some attacks from the looks of those arrows. They're not letting up. back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. Because piling into an RV with you after what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. I don't think you're capable anymore. And don't start with me, either. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, 
because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? We got plenty of food from that station wagon. Yeah, no thanks to you. You didn't even want to take it. Where the hell would we be now? We can't just keep our fingers crossed for more station wagons. Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some Why would you tell them that? An alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. We just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't uh, safe. I didn't like that it's look that Carly town. gave. It's full of walkers, and the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth, and it's coming this way. It's not going to be easier out on the road. How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Ooh, I now wasn't aware of that. get out. Kenny, you've got a big mouth. She's right, you know. Shit's just getting worse by the day. Whatever, Lee. You've picked your sides. Ah, oh, Kenny. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Oh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. Yeah, I think so too. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No, that would no be question. very bad. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. I think I'd like to talk with you first. Uh, no, I'll wait. I'll go see what Lily has to say and then, then we'll go and, uh, and talk to Carly. Yeah, I think that's probably the best thing we can do right now. Yeah. Okay, let's go see Lily. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? wanted to follow up on what you said about stolen supplies. Do you know what's going on? I don't. I just heard you mention it. Things are missing, and I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. Hmm. For real? Who? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily counts off and it's the good stuff antibiotics oxy fuck anything with opium in it i see the count and it's fine i keep my own that one's getting messed with i'm a fucking mess right now but i'm not stupid i know what happens if i start a witch hunt so you want me to start one i want you to poke around hmm okay what's there to go on I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you're using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I, I think she might be right. It's not normal that we're tossing flashlights. A mystery. <clears throat> Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. 
Your ward. So now apparently Lee is Batman. It's Robin. I know who it is. You can help. Don't tell anybody. Secrecy. Yeah, good. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. All right. Duck's going to screw us over, I have a feeling. But it is what it is. I have a feeling it's that college kid. Somehow, I have a feeling. I am going to go talk to Carly, because I like Carly. Talk to Lily yet? Yeah, she thinks supplies have been walking away. Really? There's some broken equipment, too. I'll look into it. Thanks for doing that. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You know what? That's probably not a bad policy. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. This Good. is probably going to blow up in our face, but going with the way that we're playing Lee... As being an honest person, You'll we're going to do it. Later. Carly seems to be one of the most reasonable people now, here. Is there anything else you want and to I trust about? her. You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them, but everyone's different. Yeah. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. I have a feeling Katya is going to get freaked out. Kenny's wife. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. Yep, exactly. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Yeah, I'm exactly. This thing. Good idea. All right. Let's go and have a little chit-chat. No, I don't want to go up there. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> nice. Hey, car. Walks away. Good job, Lee. All right. Maybe I should tell Lily. Find anything? I need to tell you something. Sure, go ahead. But if it's bad news, maybe save it. I was sent to prison before the plague. Shit. What? Dad said there was something about you. So you know. I didn't know what to know. Well, it's true, and I'm sorry. He treated you like shit knew who you were and you tried to save his life the last thing you need to do is apologize thank you you killed a guy so what I bet he was a dick <laughs> good thing everyone else has got destroyed shortly thereafter huh misery loves company wow 
You know what? I actually feel better that I told Lily that. I am very, very pleased. Damn. Carly was right. Good job, Carly. See, this is why you have to trust Carly. Okay. I am going to talk to these people. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's got to be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Hmm. <clears throat> Who do I talk to first? Let's talk to the Katya first. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I'm going to talk to Kenny after, too. I was uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you uh, knew I was a convicted felon. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. No. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife... Uh, That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I'll tell her. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? I think I have to tell the he truth here. His head in. <gasps> this might not have been the best thing to do, but... Gotcha. Everything keeps changing. Yeah, well, that's that's the world we're living in, unfortunately, Katya. I need to talk to Kenny now. Hi, guys. Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? I'm wondering if Kenny's going to take it as well as everybody else. I think everybody should know, it's to be serious. honest. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> no. Two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? You're pretty judgmental no. for Good. a guy who's done some messed up know. stuff. If we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Wow. Wow, Kenny. So, he was the least appreciative of my honesty. Do you guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. Good. At least I know what to look at. You guys, uh, trust everyone here? More or less. I obviously have my problems with Lily, but I don't distrust her. Yeah. We can't turn on each other any more than we have. Yeah, seriously. Let's let's not go I'll into the thing with later. Lily. Let's not say that they have to try harder because it might be a little too much. You know what I mean? Okay, Sounds let's look like at here. He actually has that thing running. I don't believe it when I see it. <laughs> so 
So over by the ice machine, there's broken glass. Hmm. You know what? I think that we're coming upon a turn right now. So before we continue too far with the video, I'm going to put a stop to things right here. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this mystery in the next video. So I hope you are enjoying it so far. I haven't had a whole lot in the way of commentary for this particular video because there's quite a bit going on and I don't want to detract too much from the story. If you are enjoying it though, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, consider it at least, and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'd like to know, you know, where you think this is going. Uh, please no spoilers, but if you have any thoughts on where it might be going, that would be great. Um, or if you'd like to, to tell me how you would handle the situation, I'd love that too. And uh, if you'd like to really help out my channel, please consider sharing it. It's going to be what helps me grow my channel. Also, if you'd like to follow me on social media, please click on any of the links in the description of the video below. As always, I appreciate your stopping by. Thank you very much for watching. This is the CyberBard signing off. Have a great day, everybody.